I see Zelensky is here. I think Zelensky is the greatest salesman in history. Every time he comes into the country, he walks away with $60 billion. Criticizing continued U.S. military aid to Ukraine, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump called President Volodymyr Zelensky the biggest salesman in history for walking away with billions of dollars worth of arms every time he visited the country. Trump reiterated the claim that he would end the Russia-Ukraine war instantly if voted back to the White House, suggesting Zelensky wanted the Democrats to win so he doesn't have to reach a deal with Russia. He wants them to win this election so badly, but I would do differently. I will work out peace before I'm even before. As president-elect, if I win this election, the first thing I'm going to do is call up Zelensky and call up President Putin, and I'm going to say, you got to make a deal. This is crazy. Trump's comments come hours after Zelensky visited an ammunition factory in Pennsylvania that manufactured arms sent to Ukraine to help support its war against Russia. Zelensky thanked the workers of the plant for saving millions of Ukrainians fighting the Russian invasion. You said that 400 people work here, but I wanted very much to come here and to thank you. 400 people saved millions of Ukrainians because of the result of your work. I'm very thankful just from ordinary Ukrainians to you. And what can I say? Thank you so much. You helped us to survive against Putin invasion. And thanks to your families and God bless everything will be very good with your families and with you, God bless America and Slava Ukraini. Zelensky also thanked President Biden and called for the continued support of the U.S. government. The United States uh, helped us from the very beginning of full-scale war, but we still count on continued support. We are thankful to President Biden, bipartisan support. Zelensky was among many world leaders in the U.S. for the United Nations Summit of the Future. This time the Ukrainian president has sought U.S. permission to use long-range missiles to carry out attacks deep inside Russia. But President Biden has not allowed it so far. You made your decision to allow Ukraine to use long-range weapons. No.